Like if I give me a little 30 inch bust down, I'm not down no more. <laughs> Damn. Hey Blossoms, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lauren and I create lifestyle and wellness content for flourishing blossoms just like you. So if that's something that you're interested in, definitely make sure you stay tuned, catch up on all my other videos. Today's video is gonna be a TikTok inspired hair, makeup, and lashes. I've been super, super, super inspired by the girls. I am a girl's girl. I love to take inspiration from other women. All of the videos that I use will be down in the description box below. I always leave a very detailed description. I don't know if you guys read them, but I would love if you guys did. That's where you guys can find how to connect with me and all my other and all my other videos. So yes, I love you. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. All right, y'all. So I already started by putting the back of my hair into a ponytail just because I slick my hair down in sections. Don't worry about if you saw that part back there. Don't worry about it. Um, of course, that's going to get covered up. So the look I'm going for is one of those where you um, split it down the middle and then you go down the sides. I kind of had like a middle part already for my twist. Or my braids by the way y'all i don't have my mic today so if it sounds like i'm yelling it's because i am yelling i'm sorry and look if you saw the thing in my freaking last video don't come for me being like why would you make another video in the mirror and you still didn't clean the mirror i'm cleaning this mirror i don't know what else to do i try and like it's be the little pieces that's like gonna mess with me i hope that that's not the case but if it is the case, just, just ride with me. So I, now that I've separated down the middle, I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing down my sides. I start with like, how I do my hair, I start with like a real like terrible part first and then I go more. Hmm, I realized that I need this hair out. What y'all been up to lately? I just finished binge watching that show on Netflix called Beef baby they really had some beef like i get it but at the same time like i'm i'm the type of person i don't even like to honk at people because i'd be afraid of the repercussions so i don't know like i be telling my boyfriend like to stop honking at people because people out here are crazy people in general are just crazy i think that's just what it's coming to like we just live in a crazy world. Like You mess around and catch somebody on the wrong day, like, what? Okay, now this part, I feel like you're not even gonna be able to see it. So I'm also not gonna worry about this, making this super straight. I'm gonna go ahead and tell y'all what all the stuff that you're gonna need. You're gonna need your gel. I'm gonna need this black spray because my hair is actually brown and i couldn't find the number four in the ponytail color so i had to get number two um you're gonna need these which now that i think about it because i'm gonna dye my hair black these are might look weird but they're the goodie bobby pins hair scrunchies hair oil which let me throw some of that on my hair now this is what my pony looks like um i made it myself with just the soft baby curls from free Tris. um i'll put like a picture here and I'll put like a, I'm gonna put the TikTok that I followed like right here. That way you know how to make this. Mine is like different in length because I did want some really long pieces. So I just kind of slip knotted those longer. Um, and then of course you're gonna need a claw clip. I wish I had a black one, but I don't. So maybe that will be something that I purchase later on. But yeah, y'all, if you know, I don't really do like my hair, like I didn't, I haven't got my powers yet. Like I can't, I'm not one of the girls, who, girlies who can braid. I don't know how to flat twist. And that, that one is just like my own like fault. Like, cause flat twisting is not, can't even possibly be that hard. But I just don't know how to do it. Like, I don't know what else to say. I don't know how to do it. Now I'm going to go ahead and slick back the whole back since the sides are parted. The front, I guess, is part in. I mean, um, 
but yeah y'all i felt like the beef show was really really good and very realistic like you never know who you're trying like you never know who you're trying and what links they'll go to to make sure that you have a terrible day like you just never know so you really got to be like i don't know i feel like when i honk i just be thinking like how real like how mad am i really to like lay on the horn like when people be like and it's like you like i'm sorry you're so mad you're so freaking mad and it's crazy that you can even be that mad right now um but yeah like i said it was it was a really good show for me also i just realized in my last video i also had on a little black tank top y'all probably like dang she don't got no regular shirts. I don't. And what about it? This is a different shirt, though. Yeah, I just, I don't know. Like, I don't feel like if I'm doing, like, a chill video, I'm not going to, like, put on a full, like, nice shirt. Sometimes I do, but also sometimes it's like, okay, this is real. Like, look at the lashes. I'm doing those later on. I'll probably do these next. Um, But, yeah, I'd rather just chill. Like, I feel like... I'm struggling to keep up with the girls. Like, I saw this girl post, like, she said on TikTok, she said, if I came to your house right now and I took a picture of you, would you be proud of how you looked? I'm like, yeah, I'm going to throw up the peace sign in my uh, birthday suit and be okay because I'll just walk around the crib comfortable because it's the crib. Like, I don't know. I don't know what the girls want anymore these days. It seems like, I don't know, it's too much. And me, I'm not that type of girl. Like, I've never been that girl. So, I'm not going to start now just because it's trending to, like, be that girl. Like, I don't know. The whole that girl thing kind of is getting out of hand. Like, I, I wanted to be that girl, too, in the beginning when I thought it was just about, like, being happy and pretty and just loving yourself. But it's starting to give, like, classism. <laughs> it's starting to give, like, unrealistic... Uh, derogatory demeaning i don't know i'm just not a fan anymore of y'all version of this soft girl era it's not giving soft it's giving very much a lot of work and i don't i don't want to do it i don't um i hope that's slick enough i feel like i need more drill Then I'm going to get the fun started. It's super hot in here. I just had some uh, noodles from this Asian spot. I said make it hot. They they heard me. And I love a good chili oil. So I think I kind of tapped on this earlier when I was just talking about how, um, how I feel about like I can't keep up with the girls and like the trends. Like I just feel like lately my whole thing has been like my duality between like my spiritual side and my like feminine side but also like the parts of me that want to be like real minimal and the parts of me that are like stuck in capitalism like they're fighting <laughs> like they're fighting like i'm just having a hard time you know with all the ads and all the encouragements to like buy things and this is going to make this difference in your life and blah, 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 blah. You know, like, I don't know. Sometimes it, I feel that release of serotonin. Like literally if I'm having a bad day and I go on Amazon and I get me like something like some decoration thing for the house, I feel good, you know, but that's just covering up for a deeper issue. And I realized that like I realized I need to be comfortable and sit in my feelings, meditate, pray, you know, in order to not not let something external kind of satisfy me but sometimes it's hard like if i give me a little 30 inch bust down i'm not down no more <laughs> damn but yeah i i don't know y'all i'm just trying to live my life learning myself you know like i feel like i spent a lot of time being who like I thought my parents wanted me to be or like who I thought I wanted myself to be never really had a chance to like be myself 
and then I experienced trauma and then there's been like this whole thing about like learning myself who I am after trauma and now I just feel like the healing process like for me like I'm I'm moving towards more so being healed than I am hurt and it's like now I'm really getting to know me I'm getting to know that I'm the girl who likes to have my hair out I've always been that girl I've always been the girl to wear my hair out and not just feel pretty because of external things you know but I still do like to get my hair done and I still do like to wear makeup um and new clothes and all that like that's also really is me so it's just been a lot of learning myself over the course of the last year or so um like a lot of learning myself all right y'all so my hair is marinating while that sits i wanted to go ahead and touch up my lashes for this week so y'all when you look at my lashes don't take this as a sign to not buy these lashes and this glue just know that i literally just anytime i'm bored i'm ripping them out especially like today i just ripped out like all of these like these were here this like literally this whole week until today these ones have been gone for a few days but other than that i feel like they lasted pretty well i did them about a week a little over a week ago i did them on last friday and now it's like sunday and also guess who popped up just so happened to pop up right after that video this freaking lady the chin hair remember i was asking y'all if y'all were getting chin hairs and i was like oh yeah i don't see her right now but she just be popping up girl there she is i know y'all can't see that but she's there and hold on let me get her and that's the only one i get and you can never see her until she's long and black same lashes same routine going in with the 16ers was so funny when i did this last time i was like oh 16 is not gonna be long enough blah 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 blah, blah, blah. no 16 is long like 16 is actually very long i don't know why i thought the girls were wearing them longer like when i used to get my lashes done i thought i was getting longer than this but it looks pretty similar to how i used to get them did y'all know kiss came out with like a press on lash so like you don't have to even put glue or anything you just press it on with the tweezers i really want some lashing tweezers i feel like that would be much easier than like the regular tweezers but i'm not really complaining can y'all believe that it's almost may <laughs> like it's literally almost may i feel like we were joking around about summer coming and the summer came like I was like, oh yeah, not too long until summer. And summer was like, yeah, girl, no, I'm here. I'm actually outside. You coming out? I'm like, oh, I'm coming out. <laughs> I'm coming out, summer. If you're here, I'm here. I'm really excited for this summer. I'm really excited for just vibing. Cause I think this might be my last summer in Miami. If not this summer, for sure the summer after that. Like I just I love Miami. Don't get me wrong. I love going to the beach. I just love everything about this place. Besides the price of this place, man. Like, besides the price of this city, everything about the city itself is perfect. I know people, like my best friend is living in a house. A house. And her rent is cheaper than mine. Nah. <laughs> nah. And that's in that's in Chicago though. So obviously it's different. They don't have no beach. It's cold. It's kind of ghetto. It's kind of dangerous. Like cool. A lot of people that's paying cheaper than me. And I'm not trying to compare, but like I'm trying to get like y'all. Like, come on now. So this summer I'm definitely networking. I'm gonna experience more. I feel like I haven't really experienced like the big clubs that much. Like I don't have kids, dude. And I got to keep remembering that. Like, I do not have kids. Uh, I need to get outside. Oh, that's tickling me. I'm hitting that point in the year where I'm seeing myself really hit my goals and my stuff on my vision board is like coming to fruition. I love that. I feel like that's the best feeling ever when you kind of like see that you're manifesting something without even trying. Like, of course, I'm putting in the effort, but... A lot of stuff is really just falling into place for me. If you guys remember from my get ready with me when I first moved out here, um, I'm here because of school. 
and I'm about to be in my internship semester. And that's so crazy. Like time flies, number one, but also like God be holding the weight. Like God really held me down, got me to the point where I found an internship uh, and a full-time job. Like, and I just know he's going to continue carrying me through this whole process. Like, that sense of being taken care of and having faith is crazy. I don't even be stressed. I'm almost done with this um, eye. I feel pretty satisfied with the fullness. I'm going to go towards the inside now. And hopefully this week I'll do a better job at not picking at them. And I can just wear these. For the next two weeks or at least a week and a half or so yeah y'all my phone's about to die let me do these and i'ma come right back so the lashes are finished i don't feel like i made them as dense as my last one um and they also i didn't take off all of them so i can see that they're kind of like looking like this like throwing up gang signs but i like it it gives up like the wispy vibe time i'm gonna gradually get better once my row of 16s is done of course i'll start going shorter more natural so i forgot to spray my hair before i laid it down i don't know if that mattered or not um i wonder how how it looks in the back it doesn't feel like it's slick enough okay so i just did little small edges and then some big ones down here which I'll fix as the week goes on. Oing. This is also not as slick as I want it. I'm going to go ahead and spray using this root spray. Hopefully it covers up everywhere. I don't know, girls. Is it giving black? Is it giving all black? Let's do a hit. <laughs> My stranger. I can't touch it because if you touch it, you're going to end up like this. <laughs> okay, I just looked and it looks like it does need a little work, but I'm also going to put this on. So let me get this on before I decide how much more to put. So here's how this looks. Just like literally a ponytail with crocheted curls. You're going to put it over your ponytail like a little drawstring this is <laughs> this is cute girl let me go wash my hands that's embarrassing is that gonna dry <laughs> okay so now that the pony's on you're gonna just bobby pin it in place so awkward i thought i was gonna be able to find proper freaking hair color so that I could just use these bronze bobby pins, but it's fine. You could leave this bad boy like this, but I know mine is not even. It's not even Steven. Okay, then I'm gonna grab my claw clip, do my hair like this, making sure that my bun is still covered up. So I was able to get it to um i was able to clip it up here's how it looks if you see my hair don't worry i'm not going out like this um it's at night time so i'm about to take this point to off i'm just doing this for the video tomorrow when i go to work it should look better here's how it came out damn so i just pull some hairs from the back hey y'all i am back so look, my phone had died. Like how inconsiderate, y'all know me. My phone's always dying. And it did take me a week to get this camera back up. But we're here, we're gonna finish out this video. The last step is to work on this face. I did wanna let y'all know I did change my lashes. Like I said, that was last week. Um, and I went to see my grandpa, I had took my lashes out. I took my nose piercing out. Look, my grandpa act like he gonna fall out when he see even rips in my jeans. So I had took my lashes out and I redid them with 14s, 13s, and I got nine on the inside. So that's why they look a little bit more reserved. Um, but the lashes are doing great. I still love these lashes, love the technique. Let's get into this makeup. This makeup is TikTok inspired. I'm super excited. I got uh, like some calamine lotion. 
I've tried all these things already, but this is like me kind of putting everything all together. So yeah, let's get right into it. First thing that TikTok really, really, really put me onto um, was putting uh, edge control on my brows. Like this has changed my entire life. Um, I love the laminated look nowadays. Like it's giving right off the bat like you see it and it's crazy because i feel like with most beauty trends i always have a strong opinion on them at first and then i end up giving like into it and this brow look was definitely one of them i it never ever ever gave and then i did it on myself and i was like oh i see what y'all are talking about so yeah, if you watch Monet Michael on uh, TikTok, I feel like I'm saying that wrong. Is it Monette? Because I really be feeling like it's Monet, but I don't know if that's just because I'm black. But um, anyways, she laminates her brows like this. She has a little uh, thing that I want, the little flat tool she uses that really gets them to stick. But I just like press in and pull up. Tuh. Tuh. Come on, like, don't play with it. Don't play with it, babe. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's that's number one. And from there, I just go in with my brow pencil. <laughs> okay, I do have a little. Thank God. I go on my brow pencil and I just do the outline. But yeah, y'all, it took me a whole week to get back on cam, bam. And... What's kind of crazy is that's actually a blessing because now I can be very real with y'all about the realisticness of this hairstyle. So I really love this hairstyle. Let me start off by saying that. I love this style. I think it's super easy. Um, and for the girls who can't do their hair for real, like me, I think it's super, super realistic. If y'all see my face too, also, it's getting red. I have like, my face just gets red. My body gets red, my chest is red. It's hot in here, like, don't worry, I'm okay. I'm not allergic to nothing. But the hairstyle is really, really simple. The only thing I didn't like about it was the fact that it didn't match my hair color. So I always had to use this spray. And L'Oreal, like zero out of 10. First off, this little tiny bottle is $10. And I had that one for a while. So that one was out after the first time I did it. And so I had to get another one. And the second one I bought, I don't know if it's defective or what, but it's literally, you have to shake it every time. And then it doesn't like come out right. It just doesn't come out right. It gets all over my skin. It's all over everything. Like you can't put your hands in your hair during the day. Like it's just kind of not it for me personally. So I, I really wish I would have found my matching hair color. Um, I think that would have been really helpful. Now I'm going to conceal my brows. The next thing TikTok definitely put me on to is the e.l.f. concealer. This is the best concealer. I've tried Tarte. It's it's all right maybe it's because i just got the little version and they don't really give the good stuff with the little version i don't know the elf one is the best concealer that i've used thus far um and what i learned is first off that's too much you need a little flatten out your thing with your um fingers and start halfway i don't start at the front anymore and i also hold my thing like this now instead of like this i'll go in between doing that but yeah so i used to hurt hold it vertically and now i kind of hold it more horizontally so it's just like a easier application and then i pull it down all things that i learned on the internet and if you're going for like a more of a full face definitely put more product like more so like how I just did that second stroke. So you see how this is so much more than that? That was not intentional, but if you're going for like a beat to the gods, boot it, boot it, boot it, boot it, boot it, boot it, boot it. You know, it's crazy because I, I feel like I end up doing a lot of beauty stuff on my channel and that is not like, that is not the direction of my channel. 
but I like doing it, you know? And so it's it's fun to do. I like content like this. I like to sit down and get real. The brows are finito. And I love the look of concealer when you go in with the blend beauty blender and just dabble all of it in. Like, the girls don't even need to know that there's concealer. I want them to feel like I just got out of Ushna's chair. Ushna is my brow lady. Shout out to you. Um, all right, so, so I'm about to go in with my primers. I am indecisive on primers, truthfully. Um, both of these primers I learned off of TikTok. Please don't mind how dirty this looks. It's been in the bag when I've been traveling and my foundation gets over it. But this is Angel Veil from NYX. I don't know, like, I don't really feel as though primers make my makeup lay any different than they normally would, but I still use them. This is Calamine Lotion. The girls was really using this, like, back in the day. It was like a whole little trend. So I started using it, and like I said, I don't know. Like, I don't know, but I see everybody using primers, so it's like, who am I to think I'm better than everybody else? you know so i just use that well i couldn't really even tell you if it works or not but you gotta really blend that bad boy in or else you're gonna be looking like casper all right so we're primed up another thing i'm gonna do since this is like every day i'm gonna start with um foundation i mean with concealer which i know is like boo but that's what the girls are doing i'm telling you so I go in here, this exact, like, exactly what I'm doing, I learned it on TikTok, girl. My go-to has been the Estee Lauder foundation, but if I'm gonna, and this is expensive, so if I'm trying to, like, save this, I, this is the really goat, goat, goat. Um, Milani Conceal Perfect 2-in-1-er. Um, you just put it here. Ooh, that's a lot. I woke up like this. <laughs> I woke up like this. I do go in with a brush. But I'll show y'all what I'm gonna do afterwards to um, make it look super natural. Like, I can't see how this is showing up on camera, but it's giving. And it is my moon cycle timing so that's why it's not giving like flawless finish because i have some acne bumps and i don't get a lot of bumps so i'm not like super knowledgeable on how to stop that but i feel like this helps so much like i fell off with the beauty blender i really did i don't know if everybody else did but the whole like spray your blender um do your face i fell off so bad so got back on with that and that's how it gives like the more like oh you can't even like it's not giving like heavy heavy makeup when you do that um so yeah and i'm running out of this this is the best setting spray uh i want to try the patrick star one super bad but i'm not paying 20 38 for that right now um okay so next thing that i do now from tiktok is blush but actually first let me go ahead and contour use this it's this i've been using this that's why Ooh. it's embarrassing like i keep it too real with y'all because why is this how much i have left and i'm willing to show y'all not too much bitch. not too fucking much okay very light and sexy on the bronzer we want to give like this is my natural tan like i actually just went to the beach and this is how i look <laughs> major key with this want to be looking like the it girl blush the blush is the thing that i was missing for a long time and i couldn't figure out why it wasn't giving and i still haven't got the blush that i'm looking for that's like completely gives i really haven't found it you gotta blend that shit out baby blend that bad boy hey hey Hold on. All right, next thing that I learned on Ticker, I gotta stop doing that. Next thing I learned on TikTok is 
bronzer on the eyes lid for just like a little bit of color. I don't know if y'all even can see that. That's how much it, little it is. Mm, it's coming together. I don't really contour the nose on, uh, on an everyday basis. So what I would do is just take some more of this and just brush it over the top like that. Over the sides a little bit, give it a little color. Mm, honey, my nose piercing. Not the big hole in my face. I'm gonna do a little bit of um, highlight under my brows and on my nose, and then I'll come back for my lip combo. Alright, so normally I spray my face before I put on mascara, and I don't know why I didn't, so I'm not going to spray my face as much, because when I close my eyes, if I were to close my eyes, it was going to mess up my mascara, so I'm just going to... Oh, and this is out. <laughs> this is, I can't even spray the face, but normally what I learn to do that I love, and it works perfectly, spray a lot, like... And when you think you're done spraying, spray some more. Um, yeah, so this is actually completely out. Once again, sponsor me. Because the girl needs set and spray. Come on now. Come on now. We we love her. We know her. It's Espresso and Butter Gloss, baby. NYX is holding the games down for the lippies. I'm using Espresso and Butter Gloss Madeline. I also need a new uh, sharpener. Like, it's really comical that I sat up here and did a makeup video and I don't got no makeup. Like, like what? Keep it a buck. Oh, that just broke on me. But I like the lighter ones for a little bit more effect a little more gradient. Wow. Lips are a beautiful thing. I used to hate my lips. I used to hate my lips. Imagine with this Ruby Kisses. Um, Cause it's more glittery. And going with a lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So let me go get my hair together and I'll be back. Are we getting into it? No, are we getting into it? Are we get? are we into it? Are we into it? All right, y'all, so this is the final look. Um, I did add some little curls to the side to give it like, I, I just love doing that. Even with my natural hair, I was like, take some sideburns down, whatever. Um, like I said before, my only concern or reservation or whatever with this hairstyle was the fact that the black doesn't match and I had to spray the spray and I'm pretty much out of spray again even though I just bought the spray last week which is why y'all see the brown still but I love it it's it's giving like it makes me want to dye my hair black like it's it's giving if you think it's giving type in the comments down below that it gave thank y'all so much for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one Bye.